to dawn the bay, we might just tap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike. All black, I'm the party type. And it's on the light. I just have to know what to but my outfit might take the souls. And my presence and presence got crippled, slipping off the toes. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. Hey guys, Darkbreaker here with another video and today we're doing a commentary playing Zephyrs and we are using a, a new rune set actually. It's as you saw in the beginning, the shield rune in combination with Gunslinger. It's actually one of the most common used rune sets for junglers right now because the shield rune is just so strong. And you have to consider I get a shield from my rune set now, and I have the extra sustain from the red. Wait, yeah, from the red. Uh, rune enchantment which gives you additional um, I mean you get healed when you kill someone and in combination with Zephyr's passive he is very hard to kill once he's low life because he gets resistance from his passive and when you kill someone you get extra HP again so it's really hard to kill him with this build and you will see uh, we have zip as well, so we get another shield from we get runes, uh, our runes. Then we have the zip shield. Oh, let's see if we can kill the ship easy. Yep. Let's see if we can kill her. Yep. And we get the kill on the violet, which is really good for us. We get the first blood. We get the bird here as well. I see Rock is fighting in the mid lane. We. Oh, actually they could the zip. Yeah, the rock is going for the mini dragon right now. So I will check if I can fight him. Use my ultimate. And I know he doesn't have ultimate because he just used it to kill the our zip. So we get a return kill basically. And he lost his... I mean he got the mini dragon but he lost it immediately. So that's really good for us as well. Zephyr is a pretty good jungler right now. Um, pretty tanky. This build I'm using for him makes him very hard to kill. Obviously, if you want to play him more damage, you can go that as well. For example, going Soul Reaver, Rank Breaker, Frost Cape. Uh, Fenry and then Blade of Eternity and we get another kill onto the rock which puts him behind a lot I will just clear this mid wave and then I focus on clearing my own jungle again just waiting here to see if I can find an opening and I will try to steal the blue buff really quick but it's too risky I have to go out again Oh, actually, he didn't suck me in, so that's unfortunate, but yeah, he's bouncing around and when Zip hits someone with his ultimate, they are getting knocked up. So he saves me, which is really nice by him. Maybe we can talk about combos and Zephyrs, but they are pretty basic. You wanna... Just use S1, S, S1 ultimate, auto attack, S2 auto attack and so on. That's like the main basic combo. That's actually your main combo. You always you want to start using your S1 because you get additional damage for your next auto attack. Then you use ultimate which enhances the damage of all your skills and 
yeah, of all your skills and auto attacks, since they will do additional magic damage once you marked an opponent with your ultimate, you will do additional magic damage. And for jungle, jungle clear I usually start blue buff, which gives you the quickest clear and you, yeah, I think you're like 120, you are level 4 at the dragon side. And then you can decide to either go for bot gank, like, yeah, like you saw, I could the violet pretty easily at the, yeah, bot gank, or you just run to the mini dragon to get the mini dragon, or you try to camp and predict the pathing of the opponent. For example, in this game, we knew Rock likes to start blue buff, and then he finishes red side, he will go for top or mini dragon, or maybe even a mi uh, yeah, mid gank. But most of the times, oh, let's see. Yeah, we got the dragon, which is really nice for us. Just clearing the wave and then we go for our, oh no, let me out. Yeah, just taking the heal point right here and then I go for my wave, I mean for my jungle, jungle clear. You always want to keep your gold per minute GPM very high. Like if you manage to get like eight, yeah, 800 gold per minute, and that's pretty good. If you hit 1k per minute, then you are amazing player that basically means for 1k you need to take every lane gold and then you need to get a lot of kills as well so yeah 1k is usually pretty hard to achieve Ooh, we missed our ultimate but we can't kill the kill growth anyways because he still has his ultimate even if I hit my ultimate, he can just press his ultimate and then he just runs away. Let's see who we focus. We go for Alistair since I can one shot him and I deny his ultimate. He was using ultimate on someone and we just basically denied it. And we get the triple kill. The kill growth is on the mini dragon. Let's try to chase him down right now. Ooh. Pretty close, pretty close, and nice. Got a kill on him, and we still have our death sickle anyways. So I wasn't scared to fight him right there because I knew we have death sickle anyways, so he will die no matter what. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, we have death sickle as well on top of that, which makes Zephyr so hard to kill. Death sickle, shield rune. Uh, jungle tanky jungle item we have zip shield on top and our passive so this build allows Zephyrus to be a hard engager which like you are a hard engager you are tanky you still do a lot of damage since we are playing rank breaker omni arms Fenrir wait do we get let me think rank breaker four items five items no we are not getting magic resistance Usually you don't even need magic resistance because you have the 30% damage reduction from your passive once you're low life. And your goal is just to initiate onto the ADC and one shot him and then you just run out again. And we get the kill onto the kill growth. We're 7-0, we're doing pretty well right now. The others died fighting right there let's see oh i didn't clear the wave completely should have cleared more before i before i leave the lane usually what i i don't want to go back on zephyrs usually because he has so much sustain there is usually no need for you to go back because you can just heal up in the jungle again Ooh, that's close nice ultimate nice i mean sucking in by our zip and you see how much like how big my shield was like the shield was so crazy big that's the that zip and my shield rune giving me so much shield and we do a double knock up getting two kills right here and then now we can chase the rock as well 
if we can kill the rock we can do dark slayer as well and we get another tropical and that basically means we can do wait do we have wave yeah we can push and afterwards we can just do slayer we should be able to get two towers here top tower falls and now we can try to pressure into the tier 3 tower here yes we should be able to get this just one auto attack here Oof. and I just jump out immediately because I know if I if I don't react quick enough the Alistar will ultimate on me and we don't want that Alistar is like one of the most toxic and strongest hero right now Ooh, now he hit us with the can we kill him let's see Ooh. actually I I could have played more aggressive right here like I really didn't want to die but I still had I still have my death sickle I was playing really safe because I didn't want to die for the gameplay of course uh, perfect game 11-0 uh, the zip played really good as well, helped us a lot of times, so he prevented us from dying. So good job to him as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary um, of Zephyrus playing this new rune set and we did 32% of damage, which is crazy. Leave a like and subscribe for more commentaries like this and see you next time. <laughs>